Here are some ways that you can practice cutting. So you're gonna hold the scissors with your thumb on top and you can use a sticker or um, nail polish or anything on their thumb so they can have a visual to keep that thumb on top. Make sure they're holding the scissors correctly. This is the first thing you can start with called snipping. So if you're not yet cutting, then you just have them snip on these lines. You can use a highlighter or you can use a marker, whatever you think your child can see better. So then they just snip the paper to make a cut. So they're practicing holding the paper and the scissors. Next, you can just do a line straight across the page. Make sure they're always holding the paper with both thumbs on top. Then you can do irregular lines. So curved lines and zigzags. And do the zigzag. Again, make sure they're holding the scissors correctly and that they're holding the paper. And you can show them how to turn their wrist instead of moving their hand around to get the right angle. And then last, you can use shapes. I usually do squares, circles, and triangles to practice straight lines, curved lines, and then getting the angle in the triangle. You can have them practice cutting all the way across the paper and then get each edge if you think that works better. But those are some cutting activities that you can try.